नमो बुद्धा है वेलकम टू माय चैनल एंड आई वेलकम यू दिस इज अभिनव गुलेचा एंड दिस इज द फाइनल वीडियो ऑन द धम्मपाद सीरीज दिस इज वर्स 381 एटी वन टू वर्स फोर आई ट्राई टू जस्ट कंबाइन ऑल द वर्सेज इंस्टेड ऑफ टू वीडियोज आई एम जस्ट डूइंग वन वीडियो बिकॉज मोस्ट ऑफ इट इज अकॉर्डिंग टू द क्वालिटीज ऑफ द ब्राह्मीन दैट बुद्ध इज गिविन राइट सो ब्राह्मीन इज बेसिकली पर्सन इन द हिंदूज Uh, who are who basically does all the ceremonies of birth and death and you know all the pujas and ceremonies so buddha is giving the qualities of the true brahmin right in this particular some verses so let us start i am referring to this translation the dhammapada by eknath iswaran and uh, for my uh, uh, readings and it's a beautiful book you can buy this book and read it so verse 381 there are just some verses on the uh, bhikshu and then we start with the brahmin right so verse 381 buddha says full of peace and joy is a bhikshu who follows the dharma and reaches the other shore beyond the flux of mortal life full of light is the young bhikshu who follows the dharma he lights up the world as the moon lights up cloudless sky right so that is how a qualities of a bhikshu who follows the dharma he is like a moon which lights up the cloudless sky right so that this is how a true bhikshu shines verse 383 buddha says cross the river bravely cross the river bravely Cro- conquer all your per- passions go beyond the world of fragments and know the deathless ground of life right so bravely conquer the passions go beyond the world of fragments verse 384 cross the river bravely conquer all your passions go beyond your likes and dislikes and all fetters will fall away so all the likes and dislikes that we have they bind us right so we need to constantly be on the watch out of all the likes and dislikes that we have likes give us craving and the dislike give us aversion so we are always in this av- cycle of aversion which is the source of all the suffering noble truth number 2 right so we have to go beyond our likes how to go beyond our likes be mindful of the likes and dislikes as they arise that kind of a mindfulness will only come when you practice mindfulness in your daily life being aware of all your actions thoughts and everything and meditate daily daily do insight meditation see how it arises anger arises cravings arise aversion arises just witness them as they are arising do not judge them do not judge yourself just see my video on the insight meditation right okay verse 385 onwards is the qualities of the brahmin right so so see brahmins actually they are the you know uh, kind of they have the higher order in the hindu caste system and they are the you know uh, the the caste in that system that who perform all the rites and rituals and they have that authority but buddha actually challenged it buddha was the first person who really challenged this thing um, that it's not birth by birth that someone becomes a brahmin it's by the acts and deeds of that person that one becomes a brahmin right so buddha said buddha gave the qualities of a true brahmin who is a true brahmin that one i call a brahmin who is who has neither likes or nor dislikes and is free from the chains of fear right so it's not the person who is born in a brahmin family so buddha totally rejected the caste system he said that it is wrong to say that this person is only can achieve enlightenment and other person cannot it's not that the by birth or by hereditary it's basically the person how he has purified himself so buddha's totally teaching was on purification of mind this is the difficult thing and that is why the brahmins were against buddha, buddha because buddha totally challenged their authority right so buddha says who is a true brahmin that one i call a brahmin who has neither likes nor dislikes and is free from the chains of fear verse 386 who is a true brahmin that one i call a brahmin who has trained the mind to be still and reached the supreme goal of life the person who has trained the mind to be still and reach the supreme goal that is nirvan only that person qualify like in um, like what buddha gives the stages of enlightenment the arhant they are the true like similarly buddha is saying brahmin is a, a person who has reached the supreme goal that that is a brahmin so all others are brahmin in the making not the brahmin brahmin is person who has reached the supreme goal verse 387 buddha says the sun shines in the day the moon shines in the night the warrior shines in battle the brahmin in meditation so brahmin's job is to meditate a warrior's job is to fight the sun's job is to shine 
moon's job is to shine shine in the day moon's job is to shine so brahmin's job is to be meditate day and night the buddha shines in radiance of love the buddha is saying day and night the buddha shines in the radiance of love for all the compassion for all verse 388 buddha says that one i call brahmin who has shed all evil i call that one a recluse whose mind is serene a wanderer whose heart is pure right person who has given up all the desires whose heart and mind are pure no agitation calm verse 389 that one i call a brahmin who is never angry never causes harm to others even when harmed by them right so these are all the qualities that buddha wants us to develop in ourselves being mindful and calm even when other person gets angry on us see my uh, other video on what to do if someone gets angry at you right so the ability to not get angry being calm verse 390 that one i call a brahmin who clings not to pleasure do not cause sorrow to others no more sorrow will come to you right who clings not to pleasure who doesn't cling to pleasure buddha says do not cause sorrow to others watch your actions watch your thoughts watch your words if we cause sorrow to anyone the sorrow will come back to us 391 verse 391 buddha says that one i call a brahmin who does not hurt others with unkind acts words or thoughts both body and mind obey him a person who is a master of his body mind speech thoughts who doesn't cause hurt to other person right verse 392 that one i call a brahmin who walks in the footsteps of buddha light your torch from the fire of his sacrifice buddha says that i call a brahmin who walks in the footsteps of the buddha the teachings so buddha's teachings is not like for a particular community buddha's teachings is for everyone who want to take on the higher path of wisdom kindness love compassion the person who walks on the footsteps of buddha that is the true brahmin verse 393 it's very very important verse and it's also covered in the discourses i'll make separate videos on the discourse on this topic buddha says it is not a matted hair or birth that makes a brahmin but truth and the love for all life with one's with which one's heart is full what uses matted hair what uses a deer skin on which to sit for meditation if your mind still seethes with lust very important right so it's not the caste it's not the you know the birth the caste or you know the matted hair that makes you a brahmin it's basically the truth and the love that you have within yourself verse 395 396 saffron robe and outward show do not make a brahmin but training of the mind and senses through the practice of meditation neither riches nor high caste makes a brahmin free yourself from selfish desires and you will become a brahmin very very important and so direct that buddha is saying right and that is what attracted the wrath of the brahmins because they considered themselves as that these things rituals and all this is their authority they can do all these things and the shudras and other people they they do not have the right to do right so buddha is very direct in saying that saffron robe outward show doesn't make training of the mind neither riches nor a high caste makes a brahmin right verse 397 the brahmins have the brahmin has thrown off all chains and trembles not in fear thrown off all chains all the desires chains of desires and trembles doesn't have fear no selfish bonds can ensnare such a one no impure thought pollute the mind again a quality of a true brahmin verse 398 that one i call a brahmin who has cut through the strap and thong and chain of karma such a one has got up from the sleep fully awake the person who has gone beyond karma has extinguished all the karmas and become fully awake verse 399 that one i call a brahmin who fears neither prison nor death such a one has the power of love no army can defeat who is full of love who doesn't have any fear of any prison of any death this person has a power of love love is the greatest power no army can defeat verse 400 that one i call a brahmin who is never angry never goes astray from the path who is pure and self controlled this body is the last verse 401 that one i call a brahmin who clings not to pleasure no no more than a water to a lotus leaf or a mustard seed to the tip of the needle 
for such a one no more sorrow will come no more burden so this is self explanatory person doesn't cling to pleasure for verse 403 that one i call a brahmin whose wisdom is profound and whose understanding is deep who by following the right path and avoiding the wrong who has the discrimination what is right what is wrong so who follows the right path avoiding the wrong path has reached the highest goal verse 404 that one i call a brahmin whose wants are few who is detached from householders and homeless mendicants alike who is detached from everyone not only from householders but also from the mendicants right who doesn't yearn for anything whose wants are very very limited verse 405 that one i call a brahmin who has put aside weapons and renounced violence towards all creatures so in the past what happened was these brahmins they used to make animal sacrifices and lot of even the hindus they were other uh, you know caste in the hindus they were against these practices so buddha is again pointing towards those practices so buddha is saying person who has put aside weapons and renounced violence towards so buddha is very clear that no killing right so person who doesn't kill anyone such a one neither kills nor help others to kill verse 406 that one i call a brahmin who is never hostile to those who are hostile towards him who is detached among those who are selfish and at peace amongst those who are at war verse 407 buddha says that that one i call a brahmin from whom passion and hatred arrogance and deceit have fallen away like a mustard seed from a point of a needle right how easily and how effortlessly a mustard seed falls from the point of the needle that way from them the 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 desires and their cravings they fall away verse 408 that one i call a brahmin who is ever true ever kind such a one never asks what life can give only what i can give life they do not ask what life can they do not have any demands on the life they just say how how i can so how beautiful what there is a book what what can i give this is on the life of apj abdul kalam so having that mindset of what i can give what i can contribute that kind of a mindset verse 4010 4411 that one i call a brahmin who has found his heaven free from every selfish desire free from every impurity wanting nothing at all doubting nothing at all master of both body and mind such a one has gone beyond time and death verse 412 buddha says that one i call a brahmin who has gone beyond good and evil and is free from sorrow passion and impurity verse 413 buddha says that one i call a brahmin who has risen above the duality of this world good and bad pleasure and displeasure craving and aversion who has risen from these dualities free from sorrow and free from sin such a one shines like a moon with no cloud in the sky verse 414 buddha says that one i call a brahmin who has crossed the river difficult and dangerous to cross the river of this samsara difficult and dangerous to cross and has safely reached the other shore means of achieved nirvana verse 415 buddha says that one i call a brahmin who has turned his back upon himself homeless such a one is ever at home egoless he is ever full who has turned his back upon himself himself means all his the ego self that he has he has turned his back upon himself his previous self now even if he is homeless he is ever at home in any way he lives egoless without ego he is always full of love 416 self live self will has left his mind the thought that i am doing something i have a permanent self all these thoughts have left his mind it will never return sorrow has left his life it will never return verse 417 that one i call a brahmin who has overcome the urge to possess even heavenly things so who doesn't even yearn for you know heavenly pleasures and is free from all selfish attachments verse 418 that one i call a brahmin who is free from bondage to human beings and to nature alike a hero who has conquered the world verse 419 that one i call a brahmin who is free from i me and mine who knows the rise and fall of life such a one is awake and will not fall asleep so who has who is now free from this idea of a permanent unchanging self who realizes non self and impermanence 
verse 4 to 0 that one i call a brahmin who whose way no one can know such a one lives from free from past and future free from decay and death so there is no past and future there is no death because he has already gone beyond death even while living verse 2 one to 4 to 1 possessing nothing desiring nothing for their own pleasure their own profit they have become a force for good working for the freedom of all they do not desire anything for themselves they just work for the freedom of all verse 422 that one i call a brahmin who is fearless heroic unshakable a great sage who has conquered death and attained life school this is the last verse the final verse verse 423 brahmins have reached the end of the way they have crossed the river of life all that they have to do is done they have become one with all life right total awareness that you have got they have become one with all life so this is it this is all the qualities of brahmin that uh, is uh, i have covered in this last of the verses uh, this gives me so great pleasure for having completed the all the videos on around 423 verses some 20 plus videos that i have made and i thank i am so thankful to you for having for listening and for giving me this opportunity to share and thank you to all the buddhas and bodhisattvas for helping me do these videos and thank you to the book the dhamma path by iknath in iswaran thank you to this book and i hope someone has helped has been helped by this book and by the sharings of buddha by the teachings of the buddha do share your thoughts feedback comments there is a full dhammapad playlist that is available you can check out all the videos in that playlist on my channel do share your comments thoughts and feedback and reflections thank you so much again for giving me this opportunity to share my learnings on dhammapad and thank you so much i'm very very blessed thank you so much namo buddhaya namo buddhaya